one morning, I was about to start fifth grade, and I told my mom, I don't feel well. I got a stomach ache. She says, well, it's just your nerves, honey. You'll be fine. Have some Pepto-Bismol. That was the old, yeah. the old cure. So I took Pepto-Bismol. I felt all right. She says, you know, you need to eat. You probably need to eat. It, not addressing the real issue. Everything is something else. It's probably, you're just nervous. You need to eat. So I had um, a strawberry uh, Pop-Tart. Breakfast of champions, My right? Fave, yeah. yeah. Nice layer of sugar and cake and sprinkles. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a theme here. Pepto Bismol, strawberry Pop Tart. I wash it down with uh, Nestle's uh, strawberry quick. Right? A lot All of pink. pink. A lot of, lot pink. of pink. Yeah, a lot yeah. of pink. <laughs> All sloshing around in there. And so, Josh, I can't help it, man. It just makes it sound so beautiful. So, Josh got in the car and his mother drove him to school, as she often did. And that morning, he felt things would be different. Somehow this time, he had it in the bag. He was going to walk in there victorious. He was going to take on the school year. And he, he was going to come out the other end a hero. He kissed his mother goodbye and marched proudly into the cafeteria, which was the assembly area for the morning, with the entire student body gathered. Everybody that Josh would see for the entire year <laughs> was in one room. And Josh began to feel his stomach gurgle. And he thought, oh, that just must be the Pop-Tart settling a little bit. Maybe the Nestle Quick is saying hello to me. But he didn't pay no mind. And the teachers began to present the daily activities. And Josh suddenly got the sweats. And his face turned as white as snow. And he fell to his knees in the middle of everybody in that auditorium, <laughs> wearing his members-only jacket uh -oh. and his E.T. backpack. <laughs> <laughs> what a kick! The E.T. backpack boot. <laughs> and Man, all in full <laughs> display while he's on his knees. <laughs> he, he set his E.T. backpack next to him gently. His Velcro tennis shoes. <laughs> and it's important to note that he had patches on his jeans. <laughs> they didn't have a lot of money back then. Oh, and his mother, although a wonderful woman, was not exactly the best seamstress. You see, she put the patches on the outside of the jeans <laughs> and not on the inside. So that's, that's the image. <laughs> um... The students closest to Josh began to notice that he was on his knees, and so they backed away slowly and formed a large circle around Josh so everybody could watch and wait and see what was going to happen. And then Josh threw up everything that he had that morning, the Pepto-Bismol, the strawberry Pop-Tart, and the strawberry Quick, all laid out in front of him. And I threw up in front of everybody on the first day of fifth grade, and I'll never forget this little black girl who was standing right next to me. She had a lollipop in her mouth, and she had those pigtails. Mm -hmm. She had the braids that were the, the plastic balls, the hard balls, and she took the lollipop out of her mouth. I'll never forget. And she said, she pointed to me. She gestured to me like you might, like if someone says, hey, where's the gas station? You go, <laughs> hey, it's over there. That's how she gestured to a human. She went like this. That boy puked it. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> oh, that boy puked man. it. So for about two weeks, I was affectionately known as uh, Puke Boy. Hey, there goes that kid that threw up. <laughs> In front of the whole school. <laughs> I mean, that, I think that is the summation of my entire life, that moment right there. You know, and uh, I went back to that school not long ago. I actually visited a few years ago. Oh, God, damn. And, I, and some lady, some very nice lady was cleaning up, mopping one of the floors. It was summertime, so there was no school in session. And I said, hi. I just fucking, hi, I used to I used to go to school here. And she's like, yeah, I, okay. Do you mind if I look around? I guess so. She didn't give a shit. And, and uh, you know, it looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the no same. No improvements. No, and this is the 80s. Yeah. And I don't think it's a school. Actually, they moved urban community school 
to a nice facility. It's actually like a very well-known school now. So it's, they actually realized their dream of what they wanted it to be, which was a nice facility for low-income students. So that's nice to hear. Yeah. But it wasn't that when I went there, you know. And um, it was just, it was rough, man. It was- 